Here's a few ways to make some wavy text effects in Photoshop. So let's start by writing out some text. I'm gonna make a new layer and hit T for my type tool. And then just clicking once, we can start our text. We're gonna write Max three times. This is Max Shepard of the Pittsburgh Thunderbirds. And if you open up your, your character panel here at the top, we can select this whole thing, decrease the spacing between lines, and then we'll hit the check mark and hit Command T to transform. Then we can blow this up and bring the text in the middle of the design right behind our player cutout. And we can further decrease the space between lines here. So something like this, maybe a little bit bigger. So that looks good to me. Let's hit T again for the type tool. Go up to your warp icon at the top. This is for text warping. And this is the first way we're gonna look at. If you go to like flag or wave or rise, those are probably gonna be your best options. We can start by looking at flag. Obviously this is a very extreme effect right off the bat, but if we lower this bend percentage, you can see something a little bit more desirably wavy. You can also switch this orientation between horizontal and vertical. So maybe you want this like vertical waviness kind of going down. You can also switch to wave we go horizontal to start with this. This one we can crank the bend up a good amount and still be able to read the text pretty well. You can add horizontal or vertical distortion if you wanna get like really funky with it. These are really up to you. You should design to your liking and warp your text accordingly. So rise is the last one. This one might make a little bit more sense with just a single line of text, but if we had something like this, and hit OK, we could just like move this up. And that way it's kind of like sort of in the motion with the player cut out with the slant of his leg. And another fun thing you could do with any of these text warps, if you have like this multiple lines of text style, repeating text, you can highlight one of the lines and make a stroke around everything else. So like if we duplicate this layer with Command J, then go down to your effects and go to stroke. Let's choose the same yellow color that our text is, and we'll position this on the inside. So we can do something like maybe four pixels, hit OK, and then we're just gonna lower this fill all the way down to zero. And now what we have is, is just the stroked text. We'll activate our filled in text, and I would just draw a mask around one of these. So using your lasso tool, L is the shortcut, you can just draw very carefully. You can also use the, the polygonal lasso tool as well to be a little bit more precise. And I should have hit the cutout before, but that's okay. So just drawing around this and then clicking on our mask icon, this is making it so just that text layer is showing through or just that, that masked box is showing through on the text. So that's the first way we can make wavy text. The second way is up in this filter panel, if you go to distort and wave, we're going to mess around with that. So let's make a new text layer. Let's just write out the same thing. We can do it three times again, max, 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 and position this in the middle of our design. And first we want to convert it to a smart object. So go up to filter, convert for smart filters. So now we go up to filter, distort, and wave. Now the key is to make the wavelength pretty high to make this like a pretty subtle wave. You can get really like weird with the waves in this panel. Uh, I maybe you want to experiment around with that. Like I'm just gonna see what that looks like. It's a little too tough to read, but if we go back in, keep the number of generators relatively low, and then you can just kind of make some subtle adjustments with the amplitude. So I don't know, maybe something like this is kind of stretchy and cool. We can even like, rotate it around just for some added effect. So again, just a different way to distort. Maybe we shrink this one down as well. So it's like, you know, even further going with the motion of our player cutout. And then the last way we're gonna look at is using the liquify tool. And so this we can type out again, a new max layer. Let's just write it once for now. And for liquify, what we're gonna do is like stretch all these letters downwards, essentially. So I'm gonna start by hitting Command T 
and just stretching this text out right off the bat just a little bit to get some distance between these like bottom parts of the text and the top. So now if we go up to filter, convert for smart filters, and then filter liquify, make sure this, uh, this forward warp tool is selected, initially at least, and you can change the, the size of this brush with the bracket keys, but basically we're just gonna click and drag downward to really like push and pull these letters into a wavy, warped look. There's other things you can do with the liquify tool, like if you go to this twirl clockwise icon, we can just click and it'll start to like move these in a clockwise fashion. Again, you can play around with like the size and the pressure of these brushes until you get what you're going for. But let's say we like this. And if we wanna bring this down even further, let's go back into the liquify effect and Go back to this pressure brush. And let's go way down with it. And what we can do is do some like perspective warping. So it looks like our cutout is standing on this text. So you can hit M on your keyboard for the rectangular marquee tool and just draw a box towards the bottom of this liquefied layer. And now we can right click and rasterize this. Let's go to rasterize layer and then right clicking in the selection, you can go to layer via cut. That's gonna basically cut it at that point and create two separate layers. We have like the lower part of the text and the upper part. Now with the lower part selected, if you go up to edit, transform, perspective, this is how you get this like, you know, different perspective look where it all of a sudden looks like he's standing on the floor, like these these letters are going from the wall, they hit the crease in the wall and then they expand out. Make it go off the page a little bit more by bringing it down. So there's a lot of possibilities when it comes to wavy text in Photoshop. These are just a few of the ways you can play with. So have fun experimenting and let me know if you have any questions.